Welcome back. Power workers in Texas are still working to restore electricity in some homes and businesses after millions of people spent days in the dark dealing with that winter storm. That wicked weather is now calling to attention the lead for line workers nationwide. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is in St. Petersburg, where a new program is helping people rebound from COVID-19 job losses while also helping with a shortage of power workers. From severe winter weather in Texas to an active hurricane season in Louisiana, it's been a busy year for power crews. They do not hesitate to get in those trucks at 3 o'clock in the morning and drive 14 hours, 15 hours. In a disaster, line workers are just as important as first responders, but finding enough of these trained line workers to respond to emergencies is getting tougher. The U.S. is expected to see an 8% or more shortage of power workers within the next three years. That is why we need to fuel the pipeline here in Florida to make sure we have enough for us when it's time to address those disasters. St. Pete College now working to fill that gap. Check out the new electrical line worker training ground at the college's Allstate Center location, complete with power poles to climb, cables, and other equipment. You don't want to be scared of heights. Um, you don't want to be scared to work around electricity. Um, it's a very safe job if it's done properly. Um, and that's what this training program is all about. Duke Energy is investing $100,000 into the program. It's also part of the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act, targeting people out of work from COVID-19 who are looking to launch into a new career. The first 14-week class begins March 15th, just in time for these new line workers to begin for the start of hurricane season. Reporting in Pinellas County, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.